Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today in my episode, I have a trunk club. Yes, everyone, trunk club is a styling service by Nordstrom. So what you do is you pay a $25 styling fee and Nordstrom's will send you an entire box of clothes for you to try on in the comfort of your home. Anything you don't like, you're not obligated to buy, send it back in the same box that the trunk came in and you don't get charged anything except for that $25 styling fee. If you choose to purchase anything out of the trunk, that styling fee gets applied to your purchase. So then you're out no money. There are no discounts if you buy any uh, a number of items. It's just whatever the price is on Nordstrom's right now. Um, on top of that, yes, believe it or not, if you have a Nordstrom card, they actually waive your styling fee completely. So you'll get a full box of clothes you can try them on, see what you like in the comfort of your home, and then send it back, and there's no charge if you don't like. Um, I, unfortunately, do not have right now a Nordstrom card. I'm debating whether or not I want to get one. Um, it could be dangerous. So in the past, the way it would work is that you'd work one-on-one -on -one with a um, stylist who would understand what your style is. You send them a Pinterest board. You can write an extensive note. You can go back and forth with them. Well, just in the last month, they changed the way their business model works. And now we are so lucky because we have access to all their stylists. So someone who might start out your trunk might not be the same person who finishes your trunk, as I have found. So I would like to read to you my note to them and uh, in the try on, I'll give you some back and forth of what we had because what they'll do is they'll first give you one preview and you have the option to deny anything in your trunk. So just the one chance and in there you can say exactly what you're, why you're denying and whether you want them to replace it with an item and like what kind of item you'd like to replace it with. So I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed in this trunk. I can tell you that now and I will go through with you and, and explain to you why my disappointment. But let me first read you my note because that kind of sets the stage. Hello, I could use some running shorts and a dry fit running tanks. Under $40 please. Purple sandals less than $100. Now I know that's kind of specific and if they didn't have, I'm quite alright. I have lots of ideas for them. A white base, basic short sleeve tee that is not see-through for under $25. Made well, maybe? I could use some cute tops, no logos, sweatshirts, both pullover and zip-up kind, and long sleeve casual knit tops. I could use a beige belt and or light pink belt for under $25 each. I'm still looking for a baby girl pink cardigan or blazer. I just realized I don't have a dressy white cami in my wardrobe. Love the delicate details. Do you have access to makeup? Which I don't think they do, but I've asked anyway. Can you put the Shell Eye Brightener by Trish McAvoy? And all right, I'm a sucker for CC Liverpool, Cut from the Cloth, BB Dakota, Blank NYC, Vince Camuto, and I also appreciate sale items. Oh my God, I just saw a YouTube video and she received the Leota Perfect Faux Wrap Dress. It was navy and terracotta floral. So Kayla, I did ask for your dress. How about a strapless bra or one with clear straps, 34C? Send me a couple to try on. Believe it or not, I don't own a basic white poplin button down. I just got a coral eyelid skirt and I think it would look great with the button down where I could roll up the sleeves or three quarter sleeves. Or it can be a partial button down. So I'm just asking for a white top with some buttons. <laughs> if it has seaming or a more fitted look, the better. A white wrap top would also be good. Again, a white top. And believe it or not, I don't have black pumps. I'm looking for a comfy pair and I do better with a T-strap or a Mary Jane style. All right, maybe it's out of season to get black pumps. I'm not so sure. How about some colored jeans? In a spring summer fun colors such as yellow, coral, pink, light blue. How about a camo t-shirt or camo shorts? I'd love a safari style dress, a denim dress, but please keep under $120. Do you have anything in a cantaloupe color? I'm kind of obsessed and I don't own anything like it. How about a light wash denim jacket? I could use a pair of leatherish flip-flop sandals for under $50. Any sunglasses for about $50? Looking forward to getting a big trunk. 
Well, I have in the past gotten big trunks and this is not one of them. <laughs> So I, instead of me reviewing each item, I had, do have quite a few items. So let me just do the try on and tell you why I'm kind of disappointed in what they sent me. Okay, for the first outfit, give me a few minutes. Okay, so I have five different items, believe it or not, or I will have um, on right now. The first up that I want to talk about is the Rudy Moto Zip Hoodie by Zella in an extra small. It says it's in blue, it's kind of like a slate blue. It, I'm not un unhappy about this, I'm actually happy about this. I actually did ask for a zip up sweat jacket and this is one of the items I was most hopeful for. It, it goes for $41.40. Well, it's okay. If I had absolutely nothing left in this trunk and I have to keep something, I would keep this but I actually like the one from Amazon that I got better, and that was a, uh, good threads. Well, first, this is not a, a really sweat jacket. It's just thin and terry cloth on the inside. It's not soft and cozy. And second, as you see, this, like I don't mind oversized, and I could deal with this being oversized, I'm fine, but the sleeves are really, I mean, my hands will disappear in this. Um, and this is an extra small. Again, extra small Zella 4140. Um, and I think my, actually my Amazon was a slightly cheaper than that. And the Amazon was softer, all right? So if there's absolutely nothing left in this trunk to, for me to get, I'll get this. But um, right now this is not something that thrills me due to the size of the sleeves and the fact that it's not soft on the inside. All right, now don't laugh because I'm kind of stuffed in here like a sausage. Next up, is a racer back tank let's see if i can find this this is the cross hatch tight oh nope that's not it this is the transform racer back tank by new balance in black and it's an extra small it's 40 dollars and it's skin tight um here's the the back of it um you know other if this wasn't so snug i would get it but it is pretty tight i mean I like my clothes form fitting, but this is skin tight and this is an extra small. Um, I would have to size up if I were to keep it, but uh, right now I'm leaning towards no. Um, so that's that. Next up, something I'm a little bit unhappy about. They never added the bras to my actual trunk, which is okay. They gave me the option to add them as an extra. Great, well I go to add them as an extra and they're only in a 34D, all the strapless bras. I don't know why, my, I asked in my note for 34C, in my style profile, it has a 34C, but they only had 34D. So I added three strapless bras and sent them a note and I said, can you please replace them in a 34C? I didn't have the ability to go in and change the size on these. I don't know why, but I couldn't. So the woman says, when they shipped it out, I got all but one of them in a 34C. And when she says, we didn't have it in the 34C. So she sent me the 34D, which is the beautifully basic strapless underwire bra. And that one is $48. And as to be expected, it's too big. There's just like way too much, you know, space up in here. And if I start moving around, it will start to slip and fall. So there goes one bra. <laughs> then, um, I had in my first original, they sent me some running shorts by Nike that had this crazy paint splatter pattern on them. And I wrote it back, I denied, declined them, and I said, these are just way too crazy for me and I cannot wear these. I said, do you have any solid color running shorts? Well, instead I get these. These are biker shorts. Do I bike? No. Is there a difference between running and biking shorts? Would I ever wear these in a million years? No. So these are in an extra small, they're the Adidas Originals. They're calling them pink for $40. And it's, as you can see, it's almost like my skin tone. They have the stripes going down the side in traditional Adidas format. And it's like a ribbed cotton spandex. So not even like your shiny biker shorts or anything like that. It's, they're very strange. Um, they're an extra small. I would say they, they fit me, but um, 
they're biker shorts. I mean, I, I just don't need these or want these. And I'm kind of upset because I think any real stylist would say, okay, you don't like, you don't like these particular print. And I specifically said, if they didn't have other running shorts, why didn't they just go and look at my laundry list of different ideas and suggestions versus throwing in a pair of biker shorts? What the hell am I going to do with these? So I'm kind of irked that these were sent to me, period. Uh, like I said, I declined the running shorts. Just asked them, do you have any solids in running shorts? Other than that, these are great. And then they sent me bike shorts. I was like, I didn't ask for bike shorts. I don't bike. Um, so that's that. Then I did get a pair of sunglasses that came in this very cute little case. It's in a little navy case. These are... The Armada 54 millimeter cat sunglasses in khaki. And I asked for about $50. These are $59. So they have 9 million sunglasses that are cheaper than 50. And they have to give me the ones that are more than 50 after I ask for less. But that's okay. We'll try them on. If I love them, I might get them. So here's what they look like on. Um, I actually cannot even see myself right now through them. Um, I usually wear regular glasses and then once between needing regular glasses and putting uh, sunglasses on, I cannot see that far in the distance. So I'm going to have to look back on the footage to see whether or not I like these or not. All right, so that's it for five pieces. Again, it was the sweat jacket, the bra, the tank, the biker shorts, which I have no use for, and the sunglasses. All right, next up. Next up is the Madewell Garment Dyes Oversized Sweatshirt. An extra small and exotic pair for $39.99. Now, when she showed me this in my preview, like I said, I wanted a sweatshirt. I'm fine with a sweatshirt. It's something I wanted. The color really pushes me outside of my comfort zone. It is neon yellow green. Um, I don't know what to think about this. I'm going to have to look back at the footage. I'm apt to say no for the same reason the sweat jacket is because the inside of it is a terry cloth. It is not the soft and cozy fleecy material. So between that and the color, um, I think it's going to be a no. So I'm not upset that they sent me this, but I really... If it were a different color, it would be more likely I would have kept something like this. Along on that you don't see is the Feathers Underwire Plunge Strapless Bra size 34C in the Tory for $66. This is a possibility. Um, I did some jump testing in it and it was pretty much staying in place. I think, and it feels fairly comfortable actually, um, I, you know, I would really like to try this in a band size, maybe smaller, although a 32C is like, oh my God, I can't imagine breathing in it. Um, I don't know. I, I really, I really like, it feels very comfortable. Um, so this is a, a very, a decent possibility. I will see, um, I'll try it on again later on and wear it around and see if this still fits me, but this is probably one of the more comfortable strapless bras that I've tried on. I'm just a little bit nervous it's comfortable because it's too big and it will start to slip. So if I get a strapless bra out of this, I'm not out of my, 20, my $25 styling fee. So um, Again, not upset with the sweatshirt. I did accept it in my trunk. I did ask for a sweatshirt. So it's just, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Okay, next couple items. Okay, up next is the white t-shirt I asked for. It's called Whisper Cotton V-neck Pocket Tee by Madewell in white, extra small. Um, yeah, it's see-through. I cannot wear this. I mean, you can see my belly button, I think, and everything in this. So you can see the pants lined. You can see my little muffin top going on here. I like the fit of it and everything. If it were a thicker fabric, it would be fine. But this is just so thin that I, yeah, it's, it's just way too thin. You can see my pant line. So this is going to be a no. I want a, a basic white cotton t-shirt like this, but a little bit thicker of a fabric. This is paper thin. All right, next up. 
Okay. Next up, I got two different eye items on here. I got the Twist Front A-Line Mini Dress by Leith, or Leith, in green, and a size extra small. Um, you know, it's probably just a tad too small on me. Um, it's, it's doable. Like, if someone gave me this as a gift, I probably would, you know, probably keep it. But honestly, the pattern is too bold for me. It has uh, way too much going on here. It's not really my style. I mean, I guess it's a good tropical vacation dress. And it, it is a little bit too small. It's like clinging to me. You can see my underwear lines and everything. Let me tell you about this. This, <laughs> I asked for a specific dress. If they didn't have that, I wish they would have found some other dress to give me. So they originally gave me a longer dress and it was way down to mini length. I said, I'm sorry, I'm too short. I can't wear something like mini length that will go ridiculously hit the wrong spot on me. So rather than, and I said, I really don't need dresses right now. Um, so instead they switched it from one extreme to the other. I now get a mini dress, which is not too bad on me, but it is pretty short. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this would, like if I bend down, I would literally show everything in the back. It's way, way too short for my liking. Um, but because I'm short, it's not that mini. <laughs> it's shorter than my liking, but not horribly mini either. So this dress is definitely a no. And did I tell you the price? Leaf, 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 leaf. It is forty nine dollars. Okay. So the dress is a no, and I kind of wish they wouldn't have given me a dress because that's what I said in my note. I really don't need dresses right now. I have to absolutely love it to purchase it because I'm working from home. Then I've got um, the dual woven slide sandal in natural raffia by Steve Madden for $37.17. Not a bad price. And actually, I can't complain about the prices at all in this trunk. So I'll show you the sandal. It is, uh, they originally showed me a different one in a dark brown, and I already have a pair of, or a cognac, already have a pair of that color, but I don't have a pair of this color. Um, and you're gonna be like, Carolyn, doesn't have a heel. You're right, it doesn't. Um, in the summertime, when I'm bumming around the house, I just prefer to have like a slide-on sandal, and typically I wear the kind with the um, thong in the middle, but these would do. I don't have anything in this color. They're very comfortable. I can just slip them on and wear them around. So these are also a possibility. So like I said, if I get something out of this, then I'm okay. A bra, flip flops. But honestly, overall, I'm not impressed with this trunk. And I will sum it up and I'll tell you why in a bit when I show you the last two items and I'll explain why I'm upset. So hold on. Okay, next up is a little story behind it. So I had asked for a dressy cami in white, okay? They actually did provide that to me in my trunk, so I was pretty excited. It was beautiful. It was one state, but in a double extra small. That's not my size, all right? And I go to size up, and of course they're sold out. Now, if you're sending me 34D broads, and I've asked for 34C, even though he's gave me 34D, there's no way either of those sizes would fit in a double extra small cami. So why did they even try to unload it on me? So I, of course, denied it in my notes that I love it, but I need an extra small. Um, double X is not gonna fit on me. So this is what they replace it with. So I would not consider this a dressy white cami. I would say this is a, a cropped ivory tank top. Well, that's almost like a, a baby doll style. It's cute. Um, I have nothing against it. I kind of think it's um, maybe a little bit young for me. Uh, you can let me know. It is, let's see, it's by Madewell. The cross-hatched high strap tank in a size extra small, made well in ivory for $45. Like I said, it's cute, I like it. Here's the back, here are the ties. Like I said, kind of a flouncy baby style down style. It has some stretch to it, it's a knit. It's um, like textured, so it's not flat. Um, and it has the ties up here. Real working ties? Yes, they're real working ties. It's cute, it's not what I was looking for, but again, I'm annoyed of why they would even try and put something that wasn't my size in a trunk. I mean, I mean, if you're 
anywhere 34 C or D. There's no way a double extra small would work. So my size profile says extra small, nothing is a double X. So I'm just irked by that. So this is what they replaced it with and one other gem that they replaced it with. So hold on just a minute. Okay. Yes, they sent me this. Did I ask for a snot color green cami? No. I asked for a white dressy cami. Uh, why they send me this? Well, I have a sus suspicion idea, a suspicious idea. Kayla from Kayla in her closet also got the same thing. Did she ask for it? No. So I suspect when we deny things now, rather than a stylist actually coming on, they're just using an algorithm and just trying to unload, you know, inventory. I mean, I'm just, I'm just baffled why both of us would get this when neither one of us requested this. You know, when we deny something, they should be going, if you're a stylist, going back to your original note and saying, gee, what can I replace it with? I listed about five or six different name brands that I like. This is not one of them. This is, uh, let's see. The Teddy Silk Cami by Reforation in avocado in size extra small for $98, all right? And that's also like at the very top of my absolute price range. I would not pay that for a candy. And on top of it, it's cropped, and you can see my little low handle sticking out here on the side. Um, I have absolutely no use to this. I would never spend $98 on a cami. If you I almost rather just not send it to me, you know, I'm mean, just get annoyed. It's like they trying to shove something in my trunk that, you know, hoping I would pay for. Also what I have on that you do not see is I have, and I've actually had this bra once before, the red carpet convertible strapless bra Wacol 34C in tan for $68. Um, I had this one once before when I was a, a 34 double D, so that one obviously had to go. It's too big. But this 34 C is also too big on me. The Notori one actually fit better. This one has a lot of gapping up top, and it's not even making contact with my skin. So definitely this bra is going back. The Notori one is a possibility. I have to debate on that. Um, this this uh, the slip on flip flops. For thirty-seven seventeen, those were a possibility, um, but everything else I believe is going back. I'll look back at the footage, see if there's anything I like. Maybe the sunglasses, but I highly doubt it. For fifty-nine dollars, I think I can do better. Um, let me know your thoughts. But th my thoughts are that Nordstrom prides itself on its service, and when they switch this to be random stylists. So anyone can come and jump in and style your trunk and it could be anyone at any point in time. You're just basically gotten rid of a good portion of your service. This, this top is not styled for me. Okay. Um, when you're sending sizes that won't even fit me, it's, you know, don't even waste my time. Don't send me bike shorts when I ask for running shorts. Um, it, it just simple things. I gave a huge list of items to wide open that they could have possibly sent me and anything from those name brands I could have accepted, you know, uh, you know, I could understand, I could even pass on the leaf dress. All right. I understand you wanted to put a dress in my trunk. You want me to get me out of my comfort zone. Uh, I understand that I can pass on that, but when they send me things that aren't my size and they send things that I really don't want and I just kind of feel like they're trying to unload on me to see if hopefully I'll get it, you know? So let me ask, tell you what her little note said. And it's interesting because my note was from somebody else. So it's like anybody can write the note. Anyone can stick anything in your trunk. Hi, Carolyn. Happy trunk day. I had so much fun adding items to this trunk and I love the helpful feedback you provided. So I guess she's the second one that I provided stuff. We love challenging you to step outside of your comfort zone a bit and try things you might not have chosen yourself. Hmm, you think? Yeah, no. We, this, this is too much outside of my comfort zone. Um, we do not hope you trust, uh, trust us on these pieces and give them a try. Check out the outfits we put together for added inspiration. Please don't forget to fill out the feedback form that will return your trunk. Go for it, I will. You can process any exchanges through that form as well. If you haven't already, download the Trunk Club app and make your checkout process seamless. 
Let us know if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help you. Love your YouTube channel. Ciao, Diane. Well, Diane, you pushed me way too far out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not happy with the service that I was provided this time. I want a single stylist to style me, not multiple stylists, so they can go back and read my notes and actually see the things that I requested. Um, like I said, it, it, Kayla also didn't get this, I might be like, okay, but when I hear somebody else got it in their trunk when they didn't request it, I'm thinking they're trying to unload it on us and hopefully that one of us would purchase it. So yeah, these are going back. Um, like I said, the, the, the flip flops I'll probably keep. It's too bad the Madewell top is see-through. I would have kept it if it wasn't. The jacket sleeves were too long. Um, the sweatshirt was out, outside of my comfort zone, but I wanted to give it a try anyway. So uh, that's it, and that's for my trunk. What do you think? You think I'm being too harsh? Um, or do you think I, I should write to be a little bit myth that I don't have that service that I'm used to from Trunk Club and Nordstrom's? All right. Provide your comments below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate any support that you give me. For those that have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate your continued support of my channel. Take care until next time.